I will judge President Trump after four years based number one on how safe the country has been kept. I mean, that is the number one job of the of the chief executive of the United States. And, and that's not an easy job. And I'm not thinking of, of random killings or anything like that. I'm thinking of weapons of mass destruction. I mean, that is, that's my number one worry. And I, that's, that's the number one test I have. Secondly, I'll judge them to a degree, although they have less control over this. Well, they have, they need a little luck on weapons of mass destruction too, but how the economy does overall. And then third, I'll judge them on how if the economy does well, which I expect it to do, how wide the participation in that, in a better economy extends. And uh, you know, those are the three primary tests I would have applied to Hillary Clinton or to Donald Trump. Meaning that if he passes on all three of those, you would consider voting for him in four years? Well, it depends who he's running against. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I would say it would be, it'd be unlikely, but, it, uh, but those are the three tests. I mean, those would have been my tests for Hillary Clinton. I, I think the being president of the United States is the most important job in the world. It's not all powerful, and you need luck. But we've had weapons of mass destruction. Kennedy got us through the Cuban Missile Crisis, and somebody else might not have. And there's, when you look at North Korea, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get an ICBM that can hit the West Coast and with warheads and everything, I mean, it is very, very, very important that you have a president for whom that's the number one priority, too. And I actually think that with both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, they. They, they had an understand, have an understanding of that, and if that's number one, and I think the odds are good, as I said last year, Daniel, meaning that we'll have prosperity in any four-year period. It's not a cinch. I mean, there are certain times when the economy has hiccups, but the odds are pretty good that any president has a reasonably good economy, and that I would like to see more people share in that good economy. All right, let's go through this one by one. In terms of trying to keep us stay safe, part of that must be uh, appointments like Secretary of State. What do you think about Rex Tillerson in that position? Well, I don't know any of the appointments well, but I certainly think Rex Tillerson makes a lot of sense. I mean, you've got an absolutely outstanding person, and. Incidentally, I would say this, too, because you get a lot of this in politics. Rex Tillerson is going to be working for the United States in that job. I mean, people that get all upset because he was with ExxonMobil or something, or because he's got a fair amount of money. I've seen a lot of people enter uh, high levels of public service, and I think the great majority of them take it very seriously that they, their employer is the United States. And so I don't worry at all about the fact that somebody comes from the oil industry or that they've got a lot of money or anything of the sort. I, I do think most people rise to the occasion to quite a degree, not always, but to quite a degree. So uh, I don't know. Tillerson, I sat next to him one time at dinner, but I, uh, you know, that, uh, he'd be the kind of person I would choose. <laughs> There's also people like Wilbur Ross, uh, Steven Mnuchin, um, Gary Cohn, who are all in these cabinet level positions, yeah. too. They're Wall Street guys. They're smart guys. And again, I would say that those people, none of whom I know well, uh, but I know of them and I know people who know them. And I would say that they will take very seriously the fact that they are in public service. I mean, I, I, just, I you know, you may, you may run into an exception every now and then. Spiro Agnew didn't come through too well or a few in the past. But, but I think people take it seriously. I, Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.